It's uh, nice to be back. I mean, definitely a short off season compared to last year, but I think that's good for everybody. Everyone was really excited to get going, and now that the testing's over with, I think everyone's uh, ready to go and play some, some normal hockey tomorrow. What's your What was your mindset coming? I guess you didn't have development camp last year, right? So this is your first development camp? No, oh, no, I've been around. Uh, this would be my third or fourth now, so I've been through it a few times. It's nice to be familiar with the process, and um, yeah, just it's nice to have it right before rookie camp and then main camp. I think there's some good continuity there that really gets lets guys get comfortable. I uh, feel the puck a little bit as much as you can skate in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, being out there in a really competitive environment is good for everybody. It helps you wrap up for camp. So um, yeah, new coaches and everything. I think it's good anytime you can get out there and, and show your skills and show what you're about. And then more more so than any of that, probably just get to know some of the new guys. So how how is it different this year now that you've had a, a year of professional hockey under you? Yeah, well, it seems like just yesterday I was one of the kids who was just drafted and coming in and um, meeting everybody for the first time, and all of a sudden it's four years later and uh, I'm one of the older guys. So um, it's definitely a lot different now. I feel like there's a little bit more of a leadership role I can take on. Um, helps some of the younger guys feel more comfortable, but at the same time I'm here to, to make the team for myself and do my own job. So it's definitely a little bit of a balancing act, but uh, it's been fun so far. When, when you reflect back on last year, I know you were hoping to make the team out of camp. You spent some time in Hartford, had some success there, get a taste at the end. Yeah. But like, what do you take away from that whole experience? Yeah, I think confidence is probably the biggest thing, especially getting that taste at the end of the year. Like you said, um, I felt comfortable when I came up. I felt like I put the work in Hartford and improved myself and earned that opportunity. And um, it was just nice to get there and realize that uh, I can keep up and, and be a difference maker at that level. So just to have that confidence carry over for the summer. And, uh, felt really good on the ice uh, during the whole off season, so I was excited to get back and ready to have another chance to prove myself. Mindset wise, well, coaching staff, how does your approach change, if at all? I don't think it changes at all. I mean, it's obviously a fresh start for everybody, so it's a good opportunity to prove myself again. But at the end of the day, I think uh, this organization wants to win, and um, my job is to prove myself that uh, you know I can help facilitate that. So I just go on with the same mindset. Is it? I'm sure there had to be some level of disappointment with not playing more NHL games last year, but how did you work on channeling that to do well in Hartford and, and sort of keep your head up in that situation? Yeah, um, talking uh, you know, with some, some guys who have been in the same situation, some teammates in Hartford and some of the friends in New York, I think the main message was just to keep your head down and keep working because um, you know, if I was able to do that, my opportunity would eventually come. And yeah, of course, there's some times when it was a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, um, you know, I was getting to play a lot of minutes down there, and I knew that would translate and help me uh, really develop my skills at the pro level, and I think it did. So, uh, sure enough, eventually I got the call, and um, you know, I was grateful for those messages. But uh, I think this year my goal again is, is to make it out of camp and hopefully stick the whole year around with a big, big club. What's going to be what has to be different for you to make it this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think last year. Um, I just came out and was probably a little bit too hesitant at the start and um, now that I have that confidence I want to have the puck on my stick uh, a lot more during the scrimmages. I know it would be nice this year to hopefully get some preseason games in and have that opportunity to prove myself but um, with the new coaching staff I think the message has been clear this offseason they want to be a team that's uh, tougher to play against, a little more physical so those are hopefully some things that line up with my game and those are things that I feel like I can add to this lineup. Correct me if I'm wrong but your college, especially your last year, left wing mostly right? Uh, I played both. I mean, Did you? Uh, I would say a lot of games I was a left winger who took face offs. Like, I was taking face offs on penalty kill power play, and uh -huh. uh, I would just slot in sometimes. But, I mean, our system was more so the first forward back in the zone is the one who kind of acts as the center, per se. So, um, I feel like I've had a good taste of both in college, and then last year in Hartford as well, I kind of got moved around a little bit. So, Chris said, Jury said yesterday that the plan is for you to start at center. I'm sure they've communicated that with you. I mean, does that change anything as far as your approach, or do you want to play center more? I mean, does it matter to you at all? No, I'm indifferent. I mean, my, yeah. my goal is to make it with the, with the Rangers and be able to play in that lineup. So, wherever there's um, an opportunity for me to make a difference, I'll be happy to do that. What did you work on during the summer to get ready for camp? Uh, Skating is always something that I kind of channel back into in the summer. I think try to get your stride dialed in. I know it's a long season and things can, uh, there's always little injuries and stuff that will um, manipulate your stride. So I try to get back on the ice and, and fix my stride. I shouldn't say fix, but um, you know, just perfect some of the little things uh, with my skating. Uh, and then just stick handling and shooting. I know that was a big difference with the pro level. You got to make decisions a lot quicker. So being able to control the puck and put it in positions where you're able to make plays is a big thing. Um, you, uh you're here now, you, you said there's a new coaching staff, but Murphy is still here, mm -hmm. where he's on the staff now, yeah. I guess, and he coached you last year. Does that add to your comfort level? And, um, you know, and does the fact that you're at the prospect camp and then the rookie camp, you know, kind of give you a, 
almost a head start into going into training. Uh, yeah, so, so for the first part of the question, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy playing for Murph and all the rest of the coaching staff down in Hartford. I think there's a comfort level there that, uh, you know, I feel like I can, I can trust him as a coach and I, I believe he can trust me as a player as well. So um, that definitely adds my comfort level a little bit and I know that the kind of systems that uh, are going to be in place and the type of player he likes. So um, hopefully I can fill into that. Um, and then, uh, sorry, what was the second part of the question there? You know, just to getting uh, almost like, a head yeah. start going into his training. Yeah, I mean... When I got the call to do development camp, uh, I, to be honest, I was, I was excited about it. I mean, I'm definitely one of the older guys here, but at the same time, I mean, I'd be skating every day, regardless of whether I was in development camp or not at this point in the summer. So um, to be able to get out there and, and uh, in a little bit more of a competitive environment, I think is, is probably a good thing for me leading into rookie camp. And then I know we have those games against the, the Philadelphia team for rookie camp and then eventually some exhibitions. So I think it would be good for me to get a head start. You talked about developing leadership as one of your older guys here. I mean, like, are you uh, meeting the younger guys, you know, showing them stuff, uh, putting your arm around them and saying this is what we do here? Or is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's probably a little bit of all of that. I know um, there's definitely some guys from Hartford who have been around and know what's happening. Some guys who, you know, maybe it's their first time even in the facility. And then some of these young guys just got drafted a few weeks ago. So uh, it's a healthy mix, but just trying to make them feel comfortable because at the end of the day, I think the goal is that we're all teammates one of, one of these days um, in New York. So, yeah, just trying to show them the ropes, and if they have any questions, hopefully they can be there to facilitate and make them feel comfortable. Now you were you were here for the whole end of year Washington Capitals mess and all that kind yeah. of stuff, and the turmoil that that followed after that. Where where do you feel like uh, you know the might that this organization is now in terms of like after all that? went behind you now and the changes were made and all this kind of stuff. Where do you feel you guys are? Uh, to be honest with you, I think it was just more the disappointment of not making the playoffs. I mean, you look at the roster they had last year, I think going into the season, um, all the players and, and for the large part the management wanted to be a playoff contender and uh, ultimately there's some bumps in the road and that eventually meant missing the playoffs. So um, it was definitely a strange season with the new, the new format and uh, by the time I was brought up, I mean, the, the playoff hopes were pretty dim, and it was obviously a pretty crazy introduction to pro hockey. But um, you know they've gone out and made some real, real good additions, I think, and um, some guys who are, are really going to help push this team forward and hopefully uh, make them make us uh, a tough team to play against in, in the regular season and eventually in the playoffs. Will that make it harder for you? You think to get to make it? Uh, I, to be honest with you, I mean I don't think it's worth spending my time trying to think about whether it's harder or easier. I know um, I, I'm a firm believer that if I go out there and and uh, compete to the best of my ability and really show my, my skills, I'll be uh, a member of this team who can contribute. What did you learn from those games that you played up here? Well, I think you, you look at the teams I played against. I, I spent one game playing against the Islanders, two against Washington, two against Boston, and those are three of the best teams in the NHL, in my opinion. And you see the way they play. I mean, they always see a skill at the top of the lineup, but um, you know, right down through their fourth line, their third deep pair, and, and all their goalies, I mean, there's some some phys physical, some heavy players, and uh, you know, no, no, nobody's easy to play against in the NHL. And I knew that would be a reality coming into it, but I think just to really get a taste and, and to experience that firsthand was good for me. And it just goes to show you know, how many good hockey players there are. But at the same time, like I said, I, I felt like I fit in pretty well. So it gave me some confidence. Did you watch those, the video of those games? Oh, yeah. yeah they, several uh, times? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I watched it, obviously, right after it happens. I like trying to watch it before bed if I can, if there's enough time. or if not the next day. And then uh, over the summer, I went back and just watched some of the clips just to you know, remind myself of where I'm at and some of the things I needed to work on. Sure.